Lucas Media. So y'all remember Keith Lee was in uh, Dallas doing one of his food reviews, and he's a big time food reviewer, right? Well, he went to um, Sweetly Season over the uh, the weekend, and he, um, you know, he he he, he gave a, a good review, and. You know, he, he recommended pe- pe- people go check it out. And he also tried to do something out the kindness of his heart, which is give a tip, right? You know, $1,000 for her and for her to tip the other people, right? And, of course, the owner kept the bread, kept the money. <laughs> well, one of the people that was thought that she was going to get paid or her little brother was going to get paid is a huge influencer down there in the Dallas area. And she puts him on blast. Now, you know, the woman said that she didn't work for her, and the, the owner of the Sweetly Season, and blah, 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 right? And then she ended up changing her mind saying, come get the money. Well, apparently, it has terrible reviews now, and they saying that the store might be permanently closed or closed for right now. Now, again, he gave a $4,000 tip and told her to split it up. Here's my thoughts, right? Was it worth it? In the other video I made over the weekend, you keep it at two extra $2,000 cost you hundreds of thousands, if not millions, in multiple store locations. Now, she came on and said she's won different chefs, uh, awards, and all of that. I'm sure, I'm sure there was some good food down there, right? Really good food down there. But greed man we have this greed within us that we don't understand that we want to keep every single dollar oh no no he i didn't know who he, what she say she didn't know who the person out there was cutting hair so he wasn't out there with your shop i mean with your with your food truck like all of it was per promotion and you tried to say well no this is my money my money just like a lot of us do but you just re- but you just missed your blessings he came down there, Keith Lee. He gives you money. I mean, he pays for your food. He recommends you. That alone, enough is, is a couple hundred thousand dollars in, in revenue and exposure. And because you want to keep two extra funky thousand dollars, now your brand is tarnished. Now, you might have to change the name or whatever. I know she said she built it from the ground up. But look at what it cost you. And think about it. How many times have people fell out over, over a thousand of the hell, not even a thousand, a couple hundred dollars, a couple of dollars, fifteen dollars. You know, people fall out of stuff all the time over something so minor or when we get this money, we don't want to dibby it up, split it up. You know what I mean? You got your come on now. You 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 he just co-signed your food. That's all you needed. I man, I might have been trying to say, look, y'all, t- all y'all take this four thousand dollars. I'm gonna make that money back within the next couple of days. But we think so short-minded, like short-sighted or whatever. Like, think of the long-term picture. Now, whenever somebody tries to want to look up your restaurant, look at all the stars and uh, the, the the reviews and stuff. Everybody calling you greedy. Everybody calling you selfish. It didn't have to be like that. And an extra $2,000 just cost you hundreds of thousands, if not millions, on the back end. Think about it. What if he gave that and then somebody went out there and wanted to invest and put three, four hundred thousand dollars in her business because her food is is off the chain. And you got stores in Milwaukee, Houston, Atlanta, outside of Dallas. You know, you could have been like slutty vegan. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?